In today's video, I'm going to unbox and use this hoodie under hood set of lights and Bluetooth speakers. This sounds like a great idea to me because you can use this unit uh, literally under your hood and the lights can shine down on the engine if you're working on it. And you have the Bluetooth capabilities. You can listen to your music or in my case, I usually listen to political podcasts. So we're going to open this up thing up. Um, test it out. I paid $80 Canadian in January, January of 2023 at Costco. It was on sale for uh, 80 from regular price of $100. This is not a sponsored video, it's just a product that I bought. We'll open it up, see what we got in the box. This unit looks pretty slick already. The uh, handles here are spring loaded, so that would be the part that would grab the underside of the hood. And to extend it out, we just unlock with that clip there. And you can see that's extended. The speaker slash LED lights have magnets on them, so that's cool. Just goes like that. And obviously, the other end here. And there we have it. Now, we got our cables. We'll uh, charge it up. Our lights can be moved up and down the bar like so, so you can adjust that. When you get it in the spot you'll want, just flick this lever down to lock it, and our light is in place. This unit comes with two charging cables, the long one and the shorter one, <clears throat> and according to our instructions, you can see here that one is used to charge the light and speaker itself, and there's an output here for, it says USB out for charging devices. And it shows a phone. And the connectors, the other side other than the USB, is the same type of phone connection on my Samsung phone. So, let's plug this thing in. We'll charge it up. And, can you see my... Uh, yeah, it's over there. We'll uh, plug that in, and then, just for kicks, we will plug my phone into the output. So, see what we got here. Now, can you see this? Let's see. Right there is where I'm going to plug our charging cable in. And there we have a sign of life as you can see. The blue LEDs come on and we'll plug into the output, which supposedly we should be able to charge something with. There's the end of that cable. Let's see if the phone shows any sign of life here. Oh, there it is. So, we have our input charging the light. And sure enough, my phone is charging from the output. And I'm going to charge the other light and speaker over here on the right with my own cable that I already had. And we'll plug that in just so we don't have to charge them up individually. And I think you can see the LED lights 
Came on over there. At this point, each speaker and light unit is fully powered up. Um, the power button right here turns on the light. Just keep selecting it. You can see it goes the, through the usual selections of for LED lights. Uh, actually, it should probably be the, over there for this. So let's take this magnetic unit off here. Show you the buttons. Let's see. Okay, so flip it over. There's our light button. And this one below here powers up the speaker. You gotta hold it for three seconds. Then it has that kind of a dramatic sound. Now, if we turn on the other speaker, they will link up. So again, hold the button. 1001, 1002, 1003. And they'll make, I think it's a beep when they connect up. Let's try that again with the speakers from a better vantage point. Okay, so, power it up. 1001, 1002, 1003. We get our funky, cool sound. We see our LEDs come on, fully charged over here. Let's take our other speaker that is off. We're going to... 1001, 1002, 1003. And now we should hear a funky sound as the two of them link up. And I think that takes four or five seconds. Let's see. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, the two speakers linked up. I'm going to put them back on our little rack here and we'll link my phones. Bluetooth device and we'll play a tune over it. So when you go to your hopefully this is gonna come out. Ah. So I turn on my Bluetooth. I've already tried this so I know it works correctly. Lighting's getting all screwed up here. Hopefully this comes out. So I didn't input this, it just scanned before and it, come up, it comes up as Infinity X1 work light. We can see it's connecting, we heard the sound over the speakers here. And just bear with me one second, I'm going to, hopefully our lighting will come out here better. I'm going to go uh, onto the interwebs and get us a song. We saw what was coming in the 20th century. Okay, that's a political today, podcast there. That's Ben's War Room. Here's YouTube. And let's search for a song I like. Here's a song. So here's the unit in work mode mounted under the hood of this car. I used this uh, yesterday for about three hours and I was playing music. As mentioned, I didn't play music in this video because of copyright things. And uh, of the four LEDs for the battery indication, it only went down like one. So I think this thing seems to have a fair bit of, of uh, battery storage capacity with the lights on and the music playing. Um, just going to show you something, one thing that I find kind of slick here, like uh, if you're listening to podcasts or whatever this is one of my favorite podcasts american thought leaders so if i hit play here you can hear that over the speakers now today sit down with china analyst gordon chang the chinese regime if you happen to be you want to pause it hit your pause button here us military and it's an attack That'll pause whatever you're listening to. And then, oops, I'm gonna blind you there, okay. If you wanna just restart it, you can hit the play from your, uh, I don't know what's going on in CJ. So there it is, playing over the speaker. 
Anyway, seems to be a pretty slick uh, unit. Uh, hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching.